bottom of the second here at Freeman Field. Ithaca with a 1-0 lead over Alfred State. Jeremy Golston here alongside Matt Sossler. Obviously, we could talk about how maybe Ithaca squandered some opportunities offensively in that bottom of the first, but man, Jack Collier in a big start for him and his future maybe in this rotation, you might have to think six up, six down, he's looked masterful. Well, also, Coach Valaseni has been a mastermind of maneuvering around the midweek, as I like to say. Last season, it was Buzz Shirley who was his main guy during the midweek, and then after Buzz started to get into a bit of a rut on the mound and his bat obviously was heating up, Coach Valaseni used that midweek as a tryout in case somebody goes down. So Collier, considering it, that this is an older Bombers squad, he's using these midweeks to take advantage, and a lot of pitchers who throw midweek have the goal of next year becoming a weekend guy. So here is Ryan Lobster coming off a very nice three games against St. Lawrence. Takes high. You know, I mentioned Buzz Shirley. Lobster is filling some big shoes over there at first base for the sixth-year college baseball player. As that one is pop foul, Lobsher hitting 320 on the season. That last game against St. Lawrence, two for five, three RBIs and two doubles. So that earned him some, some headlines following that last game. And he smokes that one into right field, drifting towards the line, and it'll go foul into the bullpen. Yeah, Holler ran out of room there in right field. The wind is going to play a massive role, as you can hear through the mics. It's howling out to dead center field, and that's going to play a major part on fly balls today. One, two. Towards short. What a catch. Devin Mersman kept his balance, drifted towards his right, and hauled it in for the first down. An L6. That ball was hit on a screw and just right place, right time for Marisman over at the sixth spot. So here's Gil Murad, whose walk-up son clearly a dugout favorite every time we touch. Dugout clapping along to it. There's a ball one and up. Yeah, it's always a classic here at Freeman. Walk-up songs, there's a reason why players choose them, and I think that's the reason why Gil chose that. There's a strike one and one. Matt, I certainly was never a baseball player, but if you had to pick a walk-up song, would you go for more of a personal favorite or a team favorite? Depends on what the mood is, the situation, what the teammates are like. You never know. Rounded towards the right side. Nice stab that time by Sers, and he gets to the bag for the second out. Another quality at bat from the Bombers that doesn't result in a base runner. Right on the barrel, tight rope the first baseline, and serves with a beautiful backhand before he was able to waltz over to the pillow. Two up, two down, and Josephson seems to be settling in following that double play to end the last inning. Well, we'll go to the left side of the infield now. Hitting wise, here's Ethan Rothstein, the third baseman. Takes a strike, 0-1. One, oh and one. Rothstein out of Damaris, New Jersey. 6-2-185. Chops one to third. On to first. And another nice play by the Pioneer infield. A much needed one, two, three by Jack Collier. Excuse me, Jack Josephson. Mixing up with my jacks there. We're gonna send it to Matt Sossler on the play-by-play -play for the middle four and a half innings. You're listening to WICB and the Bombers Radio Network.